right now, staying inside our homes. But that's not so easy for people who don't have a place to call home. Q13's Olivia Lavoie shows us one organization trying to serve our homeless community during this challenging time. For women like Tamara, the Elizabeth Gregory home helps her survive. I get my mail here, I take my showers, I do my laundry, and fortunately, I get to eat too. <laughs> I love that. Tamara still remembers the first time she came here. She was excited about landing a job, but she needed help. I was hired at a job and I needed pants, and I came and I asked the first person I saw, I said, I need black pants. And she walked with me down to the Salvation Army and got me the black pants that I needed. And I still have them. They still fit. They still feel good. A small example of the work they do. And with so many other resources for the homeless currently closed, staff here feels they're needed more than ever. We definitely feel that pressure. Um, we are a small agency. Uh, we're seeing about 40 to 60 women a day. The day center here is open Sunday through Friday. Still seeing that amount of women a day while exercising social distancing and sanitary protocols is as taxing as you can imagine. There's, you know, taking temperatures, there's sanitizing continuously. And they're making it all happen with a skeleton crew and no volunteers. And even with all the stuff that's happening in the world, they still need a shower, they still need a meal. But in order to do that, it inevitably comes with considerable risks for the dedicated staff. We definitely know that what we're doing is, you know, on the front lines of this whole thing, but we also realize that we're working with a population that is very vulnerable. They feel strongly they can't stay home like so many of us because the women they serve don't have that luxury. But what does that message mean if you don't have a place to go to? What does social distancing mean when you're sleeping on a mat that is not six feet apart from the other person? I mean, what does that mean to somebody who doesn't have a lot of other choices? Our clients are incredibly resilient. And uh, one of the things that's just their truth is that they face fear every day, whether, you know, whether it was this crisis or not. As they continue to show up every day, the staff says donations are, of course, appreciated and needed now more than ever. Cleaning supplies, food, gift certificates to restaurants, and paper goods are some of the things they need the most now. I need some place to go, and here I am, and I'm very thankful for that. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. Mayor Jenny Durkin is joining others in calling for the 2020 census to be extended.